Hello, welcome back to iDrum. Today I have the pleasure of playing the Pearl Vision VBA kit. It's the latest um, installment in Pearl's line of limited edition VBA kits. And this is one of two new finishes available in Europe uh, for a limited time only. So if you'd like what you hear, get out there as soon as you can. Um, VBA, of course, stands for Vision Birch Artisan, um, the artisan referring to Artisan 2, which is the, the finish available on all of the VBA kits. This finish in particular is entitled Rod Pins, and it's going for that sort of California surf style look. Um, and I think it looks really, really nice, actually, the, uh, the blue and black vertical lines against the, the white wrap. Really sort of classy, stylish finish there. Sizes wise, we've got a 22 by 18 inch undrilled bass drum letting the bass ring true, hardly any hardware there interfering with the natural resonance of the shell. Same with the toms, really. We've got a 10 by seven and a 12 by eight. These two are mounted using the 900 series Unilock tom holder system, as you can hopefully see there. So that's the rack toms, as it were. Um, next up, we've got the 14 by 12 and 16 by 14 inch floor toms both of which have these reference style floor tom legs. And of course, the matching 14 by five and a half inch snare drum, which is um, eight lugs. All shells are constructed using Pearl's superior shell technology or SST, which is probably an abbreviation you've heard uh, being bandied about. That basically means that it's the optimum quality shell manufacturing techniques uh, that Pearl utilise. Let's talk about the plies for a second. There are six plies around all the shells and that's uh, 7.5 millimetres in thickness. Um, they're birch and basswood uh, ply shells. And chrome hardware, obviously, as you can see, adorning each and every shell. We've got triple flange hoops around the snare drum and the toms. And the reference style bridge lugs on the toms as well. The bass drum has matching wood hoops and recessed claws with rubber lining to protect the hoops from any sort of wear and tear or damage from the metal of the lug itself. The Pearl Vision badge sits proudly against the, uh, the vertical lines of the rod pins finish and it's really nice, it sort of completes that whole Californian surf style look really nicely. Heads, we've got Remo pinstripe around the toms and clear resonant heads. The snare side has a coated batter head and a clear snare side. And the bass drum benefits from Power Stroke 3s. And complete with the whole kit, we've got the 890 series hardware. We've got a hi-hat stand, two boom cymbal stands, snare stand obviously, and a bass drum pedal, which has a particularly nice action, I've got to say.
Overall, we've been really, really impressed by this latest edition of uh, Pearl VBA. Um, it's got a really nice, consistent tone around the kit. The toms absolutely sing. Um, they, that can be restrained, obviously, with your choice of dampening. But if you want a really lovely, open, uh, melodic tone, then that is definitely achievable with these toms, particularly with the pinstriped heads. Um, so yeah, nice pitch intervals as well around, around the kit. The snare drum is dynamic and sensitive um, and it's got lots of room to breathe because thankfully it has eight lugs rather than the 10 lug um, choice, which seems to be a lot more common and popular these days. Um, consistency of tone, it's very dynamic, musical, and I can see this working in a whole host of musical situations. So very versatile for a studio setting or live. Um, as I said before, it is a limited edition kit, so head down to your local Pearl dealer and check one out as soon as possible if you like what you hear, and uh, hopefully you can bag yourself one. Hope the review's been of some use. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Greetings my drum brothers and sisters and welcome to issue 20 of iDrum magazine. Yes, 20 issues. Here we are, out of our short trousers and into our full grown long ones. Even with turn ups on the bottom. Inside you will find a fantastic interview with none other than Mr. Steve Jordan. It doesn't get more authentic than that. We also get with Dave Elich, Mars and Beyond. The man is like unstoppable. We also get with Tal Bergman, who tells us all about his time with Joe Bonamassa and of course, more importantly perhaps, about Rock Candy's um, rather lovely album that was released very, very recently. And we also catch up with Pete Lockett, probably one of the most prolific percussionists out there. So that's all to look forward to in our features section. In our review section, we get to sample a whole load more Minor Cajons and uh, a few other little accessories that they've designed that help making Cajon playing all the more easy. We get to look at Pearl's VBA kit, and what a rather stunning looking kit that is. It also sounds the dogs, as they say. We also check out Premier's Vintage Series kit, which also looks absolutely stunning and sounds just as good. We also get our hands on Sonos collusion with Gavin Harrison in the form of his Protean signature snare. Jamie Borden gets his head out of cartons for a while to change and uh, gets to check out a couple of Tama snare drums. And Sam gets to wallop a whole plethora of Zildjian A's. Yes, that's the Zildjian A's that are celebrating something like 390 odd years or whatever of successful manufacturing. We've got tech sessions which will all make you brighter, smarter, better players and of course at the back end you'll find our full CD, DVD and book reviews. That's it, that's issue 20. We've reached that magical number. And uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy the issue. That's it, take care and we'll see you in when we get round to issue 21. God, never stops.